Hey friends, it's Michelle with Garden Jargon and welcome to the Batavia Community Garden today. Today is June 23rd, Wednesday. We have about 85 degrees today, sunny. It's been cloudy most of the day, which is awesome because I've been working in the yard. It feels so good to get a break from that heat and that sun. Little humid and sticky today, but um, I wanted to go through this community garden and share with you today what we have going on. Kind of give you a little update of what's happening out here in the garden. So come with me, come out of the car, come on. It's not bad, it's not bad, come out of the car. Okay, this community garden's in Batavia, Illinois, and uh, we came out here to pretty much throw a garden in the ground so people could have growing space that they don't have access to growing space in their homes um, because they have like shady areas or something like that. So wanted to come out here and give them an opportunity to garden here on this property, as well as we have a huge plot that we're growing food for the Interfaith Food Pantry here in Batavia. So as you see behind me, we have an abundance of wood chips. Over here, we have an abundance of wood chips. This pile was from Haas Tree Services. This pile over here was from Abbott Tree Services in Wayne. Um, Haas Tree Services, not sure where they're out of, but Ishmael owns that company and Mike Abbott owns that company. I highly recommend both of them. They are fantastic people. Um, Mike Abbott also had access to a 40 yard dumpster that actually brought us this big old pile of poop. Um, <laughs> manure, if you will. Um, you can see over here, this is the garden area. This is facing north. South is behind the camera. And um, this area that you see here with all the raised beds, these little bitty raised beds, this is the area that we're growing for the community garden for the Interfaith Food Pantry. Um, we also have some rental plots that people have um, donated money um, and they're growing their own crops in here for their own families at their houses. So I wanna turn the camera around and kind of show you what we got going on, okay? All right. So in between each one, like this plot right here, this is a 10 by 30. So it goes 30 feet deep to the middle walkway and it's 10 feet wide. Between each plot, I wanted to designate a two foot walking space so that we can get through without disturbing anybody's plants. So this is the entire community garden plot here. This is all the spots that we're growing food for the Interfaith Food Pantry right here. Um, and this plot is squash, tomatoes, cucumbers, and it goes to peppers, peppers, herbs, more peppers, peppers, flowers. These are all tomatoes. These are 20 foot rows of indeterminate, indeterminate tomatoes going down all these beds here. In between, well, first of all, we came out here and we carpeted this entire 40 by 30 plot with cardboard. Like we laid it like car uh, carpet. We sodded the grass, we got all the sod off the ground. We laid the cardboard. We built the boxes. The boxes are secure and stable. They're not moving. We filled the boxes with the decomposed horse manure that's over there in the pile. And then we put it all in these boxes over here. And then we top dressed with miracle Grow garden soil in all of these beds. And then we took all the plants um, that I had grown in my basement since March um, and we plugged them in. So now they're all plugged in and they are growing. <laughs> um, this is the eight foot walkway that we have. Um, this is the main entrance. That's our parking lot over there by the water tanks. Uh, we're working on finding a source of water to fill those for us so that we have more access to water out here. We are on well water here, so that's really nice, but I don't like to have to tap into that if we don't need to. Having straw on top of our crops out here has been a godsend. Um, it has really kept the moisture in these plants all season so far, which is great. Um, but this is the community garden. I don't even know how many square feet of growing space this is, but I'm gonna have to figure it out. We are still in the process of laying wood chips. As you see, you know we have our cardboard laid down but still wood chips need to be laid in here. Wood chips need to be in between all of these boxes in the garden. We just wanted to main focus our priority on getting food in the ground, and that's what we did. 
Um, this is another two foot walk space here. This is another rental plot here, a 10 by 30. This is another walkway right here, two foot walkway. This is two plots um, divided in half and then a two foot walkway right here as well. Um, and then this is a flower plot that Annie is growing. We have um, an empty plot here. I think that's Craig's plot. Um, I think Amanda, the homeowner, is growing this plot. This is Joyce's plot. This is Jimmy the pumpkin. <laughs> We're gonna make an attempt at growing a 400 pound pumpkin. Wish us luck. This whole entire empty spot here that you see is designated for a seating area. We might get a gazebo, you know, like one of those Home Depot gazebos and put up the aluminum frame to provide some shade for us out here because there's none, there's no shade. I can go all the way over there if you want to sit in some shade or sit over there on the wood chips and sit on some shade, but there's no shade out here. Um, this is another flower plot, um, vegetables, 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 and then this is an empty plot. So this empty plot here and these empty plots behind me, where is it? There it is. It's an L shape. See how it goes over my shoulder there and then comes all this way. That in this plot, we're gonna clear out and get it ready for fall crops. I just started seeds for broccoli, cauliflower, cabbages, kales, Brussels sprouts. All of that's gonna be planted in those plots for fall harvest because those kind of vegetables can be grown into when it snows, which is awesome. And this stuff in here hasn't matured yet, so we can't even think about taking stuff out of here yet and putting in the fall harvest crops in there. So um, what else do I want to show you? Oh, there's a shed over there, right there. All the hardware, all the shelving, all the screws, nuts, and bolts are with it. We just haven't had the time to put that thing together. But we would love to have a shed so we could put all our tools in the shed at the end of the day. But we can't because there's not enough manpower out here. So we're doing our best and working as diligent as we can. Try to keep it tidy out here because I don't want to make this place look junky. I want it to be a safe place for people to come. I want to be a place where people can bring, uh, have volunteers come out here where they can water for us or pull a weed here or there and just feel like they're being a part of this community. Um, I really do appreciate you guys. I'm doing my best to post one of these videos here for this garden, this Batavia Community Garden, every week on Wednesdays. I post personal garden tours, which is the Wilson Garden. Uh, the playlist is in the description below. Um, Wilson Garden's my personal garden at my house. And then I do, every Monday is the Ginger Creek. Ginger, I got them all mixed up. Ginger Creek Community Church uh, garden tours on Mondays. So Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm trying to post a garden tour for you to follow along and see how we're doing. I just got um, my car loaded. Look at this. Yes, that's kitty pools with wood chips in it. Because my car wants to be a truck. So bad. When this car dies, I'm going to have to get a truck. Um, but I'm taking these wood chips back to my house. I did a project at my house today. I made a bird feeder area for... Um, for my home because the bird feeders are killing off all the grass. So I appreciate you guys watching today. Thank you so much for paying attention to what we got going on out here. I can't wait to show you how things are growing once we get some more rain, but let's enjoy this weather. Let's enjoy this 2021 season. And um, I appreciate you watching. I hope you take care and God bless.